set designs here at the Elizabeth Craft Designs booth. And today we're doing the make and take with the new hot air balloons. Um, so let's get started. The hot air balloons are cut from our soft finish cardstock. And we are going to color them with the distress ink. So I'll show you how to do that. For this card we also use the Els van den Burg Studio ovals, fitted ovals, they're really fun. So we have adhesive already on the back. I'll take my distress ink and I start my circular motion on my craft mat. In this case I use the backing of the double-sided adhesive. And this is how I color my hot air balloon. You can add shading by going over the same spot again. I have a little piece of the backing of the adhesive too that I use to kind of make a border because my the basket is brown, so I, I use that so I don't color the bottom. Okay. I use the tea dye for the basket. And again, I place my adhesive, or sorry, the backing of the adhesive on here. That's the lighter one, so we also have the heavy And then I color my basket. Yeah, we also have the 100 grams. Okay. And the hot air balloon die set, it actually comes with two different balloons, more different shapes, and all those overlay pieces. So, in this case, I use the heart, and I put some pink. Yeah, so there is a lot here, but yeah, 100 LB as well. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I thought I had it here, but I don't. Yeah, and 100, yeah. And a little overlay. And I use a different spot on my, on my workspace so I don't contaminate the colors. also kind of dab it or do your circular <coughs> wrong side I was like why is that not working so well it's the wrong side that's working better My little heart. So that's the hot air balloon. It's done. And uh, now I'm going to do my clouds. I use salty ocean for the clouds. Circular motions. my card. So these are the stitch ovals from the Els van der Studio Collection and I'm using from the fitted ovals I use the the smaller one not the largest one but the smaller oval so it goes on top here And I use the small solid oval. And these you can use for a different project. Okay. 
and then I cut a banner using the banner die set. And for this one, I use the Karen Bernerson What's Up Clear stamp set, and it says Adventure Awaits. Very fun. So. that here and put a little bit of the Elizabeth Craft Designs double sided adhesive on the back here. the soft finish cartridge and it was embossed with the cloud embossing folder. So we already prepped that. And my hot air balloon already has the adhesive on the back. Just make sure that you take out those little pieces that are left here. So that one goes in the middle. Here. And then a cloud. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And that one I'm gonna go in the back. Oops. I should have done that first. That one goes in the back here. And I use some foam adhesive to add a little bit of dimension. For the other cloud. And then I add my banner. Use a little bit of a double set I'm actually here already and, and here's the finished card. <laughs>